Structured Query Language, SQL or SQL for short, is the gold standard language for communicating with relational database management systems. You've likely heard of databases like MySQL, Postgres, Microsoft SQL Server, and Oracle, all of which are based on SQL with their own little variations. It was initially developed in the early 70s to mutate and retrieve data from IBM's System R database. By 1986, it was standardized into the syntax that remains extremely popular in technical applications today. A relational database organizes data into tables, kind of like an Excel spreadsheet, where columns contain attributes or types of data, while each row represents an individual record or data point with its own unique ID known as a primary key. We can establish relationships between data points by taking the unique ID from one row and storing it on a different row in a different table in a special column known as a foreign key. In the team's table, the team ID is the primary key, but in the player's table, it's the foreign key. And what that data structure tells us is that a player belongs to one team, while a team can have many players. What we've done here is structured our data in its smallest normal form to eliminate duplication and redundancy. Now the role of SQL is not only to read, create, update, and delete data, but also to join data together based on the relationships embedded within it. The syntax is comprised of several key parts. If we zoom all the way out, we have a statement or a piece of code that does something like reads or writes to the database. Within a statement, we have a variety of keywords that can manipulate the database. Select can be used to make a query for the columns that you want from a table. The column and table names are known as identifiers, but we may not want every row in the table. So we filter the results with the where keyword to only include records that meet a certain condition. It's like looping over every row in the table and only returning rows in the query where the predicate evaluates to true. Then we might use the join keyword to connect data from an entirely different table by matching the primary key on this table to the foreign key on another table. What we've created is a collection of clauses that make up a full SQL statement. We can now go and execute this code on the hundreds of different databases that support SQL. This has been Structured Query Language in 100 seconds. Like and subscribe if you want to see a full SQL tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.